Nice. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another Trader Joe's haul. I have my husband with me. Hey. That's Thomas. Okay, we went to Trader Joe's because we were looking for this, that, and Christmas. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with, okay, we do have a grump tree sitting here. Now we did get one on our last haul, and my mom saw that haul. And she wanted her own grump tree, so... Because she's grumpy. <laughs> so that one's going to her. Our Trader Joe's this morning had lots of grump trees. And they also had all kinds of different Christmas stuff going on, so... What is that? This is a cactus. I don't want it to poke me. It is a Haorthia. Four inch. I'm glad you said that. I know, they're going to come back on me, believe me. Somebody's going to tell me <laughs> that's how that's pronounced. <laughs> what this name is. But it's a, it looks like a cactus plant, and it's so cute. It is nice. Yeah, it'll be great for after Christmas, too. So I'm going to stick it with the other things that I've been collecting this Christmas. Get it? Stick it? Cactus? Yeah. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> and try to keep them alive for quite a while. <laughs> Good luck. Sorry, little cactus. <laughs> All right, so part of this and that of our haul, I'm going to let you speak of these. Well, a uh, couple of hauls ago, I got some halibut um, fillets, you know, like fish and chips type thing. And I was going to cook it up, and my daughter and I, because we're really the only ones that eat fish, we're going to eat it. But there was no chips. So now we got chips. <laughs> We got french fries, so that's what that's for. Fish for dinner. <laughs> While they're having that, I'm going to try this right here. This is a vegetable burani with vegetable dumplings. Oh my gosh, that sounded so delicious, y'all. Well, I'm not kidding. Good. It's got basmati rice, green peas, cabbage, red bell peppers, cauliflower, and there's sunflower oil, carrots, spices, celery, garlic salt, sugar there's some raisins in there i can deal with that cashews are y'all watching him cashews cilantro green trill gr green what i don't know what you green mean? chili ah there we go <laughs> turmeric turmeric yeah. and mint i guess from additional flavor all right i'll be giving this a try tonight mm -hmm. while they're eating their fish and chips i'm gonna i'm gonna show y'all this really quick because it keeps falling over <laughs> I found this cool salad blend here, and it's got kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. Yep, you're trying to kill me. I'm trying to kill <laughs> I'm going to pair it with this dressing right here. It's a green goddess salad dressing. That sounds familiar. I think they Ooh. used to have a salad dressing called that. Yep. And it's avocado, green onion, lemon juice chives, basil, and garlic. So I'm going to be pairing those together. Sounds delicious. Not bad. He'll eat it. Mm. It's going on his plate. I'll eat it begrudgingly. <laughs> I'll be kicking and screaming every bite. All right. What do you want to well, check out? I thought this was a little different. This is a step up to the snack bar. This has uh, here we go. Uh, cheddar rocket crackers, corn chips with flaxseed, honey roasted peanuts, chili lemon corn sticks, honey roasted sesame sticks, and honey mustard pretzel pieces. Sounding good. So I thought, hey, that sounds a little different than a move in. So thought we'd go ahead and yeah, give it a ooh, give it a try. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Honey roasted peanut. It'd be good to be sitting in front of a Christmas movie eating these. Did y'all see them? There we go. Mm. The peanut's good. Now the peanut's good. Mm-hmm. What are these little things? These got flax seeds in them. Yeah. Oh man. That cheddar. Oh. That corn chip with flaxseed in it is really good. That's really good. Oh, look, they're almost like little goldfishies in there. Mm. Here we go. Mm mm mm. That's yeah. good. 
There's a winner. Oh, we got a winner, y'all. <laughs> we always usually get a lot of winners when we go to Trader Joe's, so. All right. It's because we like everything. <laughs> I picked up these for stockings. You know, I showed these on my Costco haul, um, but they had like a massive box of them, and there was just no way I was going to be able to figure out what to do with all of those. So, <clears throat> I'm glad that Trader Joe's has their coins out this year. I like to put some in, you know, my kids' stockings. Somebody's going to hate you. I know. They always have a hard time trying to open these things. So. They're almost impossible, though. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about with these little coins, aren't they hard to open the little metal pieces off of the chocolate? God, yeah. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> yeah. Don't put none in my stocking. <laughs> so for some more fun, not really, but anyway, I picked up tomatoes. Because everywhere we go to buy tomatoes, they don't last at all. We just have a really hard time. So I picked these up from Trader Joe's and they look really good. So hopefully they last for the week. No tomorrow. I like this one. <laughs> we got, what is that? Pomodoro. Pomodoro? Orange cake. What's Pomodoro? Is that just the name? I don't know. We'll get a knife, okay, and we're gonna try this for y'all. You ain't gotta tell me what. It Buy is. Some. Let's see, orange and clove spice cake with vanilla cream frosting and candied orange peel. Ooh, that sounds good. All right, let's take the, that off. <laughs> okay, look. <laughs> You know, that orange flavor got me. I was just like, oh my gosh, we have to try that. Ladies first. That's <laughs> huge piece. Mmm. Mmm. It's orangey. The aroma is so good. That's orangey, mm. all right. Mm-hmm. A little on the dry side. Yeah, but you know what? It's a winner. Mmm, that's good. It's a winner. You give me such a big piece. It's like dinner. <laughs> I'll be finishing that one later. No, you won't. All right. I'll give you some help. Look at that. Oh mm, my gosh, y'all. If you want to go to Trader Joe's and get something, I suggest this right here. It's really good. Hmm. Very good. All right. Oh, I got something cool. This is hot chocolate sticks. Dark chocolate. So, let me see. I can see if I can open this. I'm glad it's not easy to get into. You need a man to man handle that? <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm doing the show by myself. <laughs> okay, that's what they look like. And they feel like little candy bars. I'm going to open that. Okay. They are candy bars. I bet it just melts. Yeah. Enjoy dipping this chocolate into a cup of hot milk and stir it around. Then it becomes rich hot chocolate. Hot milk. Huh? So instead of the powder form, you've got like a little candy bar form. So you just dip it in there, stir it around, and then you got hot chocolate. That's kind of cool. Yeah. This is going to be great for move Christmas movie nights, right? All right. Yeah, you can't put it back together. <laughs> Perfect. I was going to try to say how many are in here. There's eight sticks that come in here. This is a hot cocoa snowman. Contains milk chocolate chips and mini marshmallows. And it's a spin around there, guy. Come on. I know. Right. He's, <laughs> he's sideways, right but it's a... Uh, it's a little Frosty the Snowman there. I thought it was so cute. I want to put that in a stocking for someone. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> but it's so cute. It is cute. It is cute. You want to talk about it? Well, I'll just put, it says, um, heat one cup of milk and then drop Frosty. Frosty into it until it all melts in there. Ooh, very cool. All right, go get y'all some. <clears throat> very cool. I wish I'd have gotten a second one so I could really show y'all what this is about. Oh well. You live and you learn. <laughs> what is this? 
Trader Joe's Chocolate Peppermint Loaf and Baking Mix. All right, if you know my channel, you know I do a lot of cooking reviews using Trader Joe's baking mixes and cooking mixes. So I picked this one up. Um, if you're interested in seeing me make it in the next few days, let me know. Now I can either make a loaf or I can make cookies. So, you know, let me know and the winner will be made. <laughs> so I'll either make cookies or I'll make the cake. So it all depends on you guys and what y'all want. There you go. All right, y'all, look at these. I'm going to let Thomas try one for you. Just give me. Mm. <laughs> Which color would you like? <laughs> Carrots of many colors. Aren't those cool? Oh, my gosh. This would be great for, like, a Christmas side dish. Or any side dish, actually. Oh, I can't wait to saute those up. Mm. Everybody think we're fancy pants. We're, we're fancy pants. Yes, we are. We're fancy pants. All right. I picked up some of these per one of our subscribers asked if we had tried these before. And we never have. So um, I want to thank my subscriber. I did find these. Wait, it took me a while. But <laughs> these are cheese blenses. Blenses. All right, so these are crepes filled with like a farmer's cheese. And it looks really good. So we're definitely gonna try these. Farmer's cheese? Mm-hmm, those look good. Like for breakfast or just an appetizer for, you know, after dinner. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I guess I get to talk about it, huh? All right, well, this is, uh, this is a three stack of cookie doughs. Uh, you have a toffee oat, that's the top one. Then you have a cinnadoodle, that's the middle one. And then you have a triple, cho ooh, triple chocolate cookie mix. Kind of cool. And that's what kinds. these are. So I took the lid off earlier to see. Let's show them. Together. There we go. So there's there the go. mix right there that you get. And there, open it up for you. See. You use eggs, butter, and water, and you mix it with that, and then you make your cookies with it. I bet you this this is the toffee oat. I bet that's going to be and really And it says good. it yields 18 cookies per pack. So 18, 18, and 18. That would be really cool for Christmas. Different flavors. Yep. It would be nice. Different flavors. <laughs> so looking forward to all three. <laughs> All right, another stocking stuffer that I picked up is Lip Treatment Duo. So it's a lip scrub and a lip balm sunscreen. Lip scrub? Yeah, you just scrub all the, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> you just scrub your lips with them, it refreshes them, and then you put on some lip balm. It's got sunscreen on it. Okay. So anyway, this is a stocking stuffer for somebody <clears throat> that um, Obviously not about. me. So I picked up a lot of stocking stuffers, you know, and that was the point of kind of going, just kind of pick up a few things for that and then pick up things that we really wanted to get and things that we just went, oh, that looked cool. Okay, so I picked up these right here. Egg frittatas. I've picked those up before and they're so good, but for a quick, easy breakfast or snack, um, it's with Swiss cheese and cauliflower. Oh, God. I shouldn't have told him that. He, he eats these. <laughs> Not anymore. He just doesn't know what's in <laughs> Cauliflower They're really good. You can't tell. You can't tell. Ugh. You had it. You liked them. I've never had that one. He had them and he liked them. I like the ones with bacon in them. Those are good. All right. Got one more thing to show you. This popcorn. It's popcorn. They had a popcorn. They had these popcorn tubs. They're so cute. Yeah. Trains, cars, and all kinds of stuff on there. We got so much popcorn. Help me. <laughs> he eats popcorn. Are you going to tell him what's in here? Oh, <laughs> thought you were going to do it. <laughs> read all of that. Oh, God, no. I'd be so dizzy trying to read that. Read all of that. It's popcorn. <laughs> it's holiday popcorn assortment. 
We have caramel popcorn, butter popcorn, and cheddar cheese popcorn. The standard. I do like the cheddar cheese popcorn. All right, it's sealed up. We're not going to try it because that is for a gift for somebody that likes popcorn tins that we usually give them popcorn tins. So I was like, wow, let's give them this one. That was cool. Okay, y'all, let us know what you think, what your favorites are. Is there something you would like us to get? I don't know if we're going to go back before the holidays are here, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> he found a lot of cool things, so he's excited. All right, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when all of our hauls are posted. And I also do a lot of cooking shows. And don't forget, cake or cookies. Let me know. All right. No. Bye. We'll see you on the next episode. <laughs>